Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another very exciting video here at Glancet Games and today I proudly present to you Brothers, a tale of two sons. We are back with Nahir and Naya. By the way, I had to correct myself. The bigger brother is called Naya and the right one is called Nair. Now that we know how both brothers are called, we can continue with our story. And I'm very... Wait a minute. Maybe I'm not very excited because what do I see there? Are those dead giants? The vultures are already sitting on them for quite some time. Mmm, the gripper meat. Tasty. Oh, but do you see in the background how many giants are laying between the rocks? Crazy. Oh, this had to be a massive battle. Ooh, stinky. These are some certified cheddar grippers. I think we have to move his arm. Ugh. I'm sorry, mister, but we have to get through here. I mean, these have to be giants, right? I mean, look at our two brothers compared to the size of the sword. I mean, do you even realize that Nair's head is almost as big as the bolt on the sword? Rotten giant wiener, that is definitely a smell that I want to forget. Alright, but I think I know what to do here. So, brothers, get up here. First one, and then... Yes! There we go. But I like all these set pieces. They are so well crafted. Alright, let's balance. Oh! <laughs> okay, I jumped slightly. These damn vultures. No, we do not have to cut off the leg, right? This is not a makeshift guillotine here. Oh my god, okay, these two brothers are damaged for life. What we have seen already, damn. Oh, and who's that down there? Are those soldiers? And I think they're not the cause of the giant's death. But it seems they're celebrating something? Maybe some kind of ritual? Well, we're eager to find out. Oh no, oh come on, no, we do not have to do that, right? Don't you think, game, that they have suffered enough? They have been in an intense war. They just want to find peace. And we have to give them a headshot post-mortem with a crossbow? Okay then, let's load the bow. Locked and loaded. Mister, I am very, very sorry. I mean, you can argue about that, if that was right or wrong. It was morally questionable, to say the least. Oh, what is that, a horn? Bro, you have the lung capacity of a toddler. Get away. Call of the Giants, you sounded the giant horn. Oh, we even got a Steam achievement for that, that is cool. And we got an answer from a fortress far, far away. That is indeed a nice element when it comes to world building, so now we know that these giants are not the only ones. Maybe they are awaiting the comeback of their warriors, but they've all fallen. Oh no, blood waterfall. Ugh. That is a shower I definitely wanted to avoid, but hey, it looks like we have to pass through. Oh, now they look like little devil children. <laughs> Alright, you two redheads. So let's try to make sense of that. People are praying to a goddess, but they need an offering in form of... And that looks like a dog, cat. Hello, anybody here? I mean, if somebody got cooked, we are not getting an answer. They are offering a virgin blood for the blood god. But we have to stop them somehow. Oh, I think this blood pool is going to be very important. Let's try something here. I have an idea. Exactly what I was planning there. Okay, let's see what happens now. Is the bluff effective? Guys, we will find out. And now they are praying to us. We have to free the virgin. Whoa, this woman is mine. All right, and now set her free. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. Escape, escape. And now the duo became a trio. But she's walking very fast, okay? It looks like she knows where she is heading towards too. So just follow her for now. Okay, to reach the tree or the destination around the tree, we have to sail. We have to use the boat. But are you not coming with us? I mean, you were at the brink of death. Okay, she's not waiting there. She is coming with us. I was about to say, oh guys, there's a hidden cave. Can we maneuver in? 
Yes, we can. I think we are not supposed to be here. You found a secret behind the curtain. So we are not getting on land. We were just here for basically sightseeing. But we have a steam achievement. Let's go. And the water is so clear. It almost looks like gel, to be honest. And what is that under our boat? I heard something. Wow. Oh, that reminds me so much of the animals from Avatar, from the planet Pandora. Okay, he's following us. Maybe he's just curious. Or she. I cannot assume any gender here, of course. But the landscape is absolutely stunning. I remember this from the original, that the landscapes were pretty, pretty beautiful. But now they even got elevated by the Unreal Engine 5. And it's just eye candy. Pure eye candy. Yeah, they are flexing on us with their water acrobatics. Yeah, you're a good boy. And we have reached solid land. Oh, what a hands-on lady. Oh, who are you? Are you hungry? <coughs> Naya, you're slacking. Don't you want to impress the girl? Oh, oh, that looks like real man's work. Unfortunately, I do not know any songs that you can sing when cutting down trees, but hey, I'm cutting trees, cutting trees, cutting trees. I'm cutting all the trees that I am going to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for more freestyles, book me under this email address. Thank you. Gaia? Yeah, don't be so demanding. We're already putting in the work here. Ah, let's go. Wow. All right, cat. Okay, cat woman. Yeah, now I feel dumb and unathletic. We have to roll over the frozen soldiers. Many, many minus points for our karma account. No. Do you want us to fire you over the wall? All right. But let's do the same with Nahir now. Hold on tight, little brother. Who is that? Why is he invisible? All right, so at least we know that we are not alone here. We have to be a bit careful. Yo, all right. I don't even know why you need us. You appear to be superhuman. I mean, look at Patricia Pakuria. Ah, but she is indeed very, very helpful. Oh, oh, hold on tight, hold on tight. Don't fall, don't fall. He's lifting the entire building? No, no. Oh my god! <coughs> okay, I didn't see that coming. Oh, maneuver, maneuver! But he was too slow and too heavy. Let's just say how it is. You're too fat! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! Don't leave me here! Rose before hoes! Oh my god. Yeah, now he is not very amused. I totally get that. Not just because he is a little brother and needs attention. I mean, we do not know anything about this girl, woman. She could also lure us in a trap, you know? Maybe she's just playing games. Yes, especially when she's trying to search for refuge in a fucking cave. Naya! Naya, red flag. No, dear ma. Naya is experiencing a boner for the first time. Ah, the power of boner, guys. Making men very stupid since zero AD. I mean, look how she's walking behind us. That looks like she is going to kill us. Spiderweb, silk. That doesn't look good. I don't want to be here. They are fucking eggs. What in the alien lair is that? <laughs> Did you see? Did you see what I was saying? Lights out. Yeah, Naya, yeah. this is exactly the type of woman you wanted to fall for. And now we are captured in her big spider lair. All right, I think we have to swing here. And we are free. Oh, that is disgusting. We have to help Nahir. All right, get up, stand up. Nahir, can you do something? Oh, yes. Ah, yes, take the leg. Fuck off, fuck off. Leave my brother alone. The bound of brother is stronger than your spider webs. Three times a charm, you little bitch. All right, she's not able to climb anymore. That is good. Yeah. But Naya is strong. I mean, ripping out like gigantic spider legs, that requires some force. Now you're gone for good. <sighs> no. And that was definitely poisoned. Oh no. And I think the father felt it. Because every parent is connected to their children, he's barely able to stand and wants to help them. 
Wait, did the father die? Naya, hold on, please. We'll get you out of here. But at least you learned a lesson for your life. Never trust a beautiful woman. Our destination! That is the Tree of Life. That also reminds me so much of the... I think it is called Tree of Life from Avatar. But he's too weak. All right, Nahir, let's go. Time is running. Not only for our father, but also for Naya. Come on, come on. As far as your little legs can take you. I was about to say slowly but steady, but there's no time for slowly and steady anymore. Is that the source? Is that what we came for? Is this the elixir that we can fill our bottle with? Yippee! It's definitely faster than climbing all the way. Naya? Uh. Is that helping? Hopefully it helps. Come on, get up, get up. Your little brother needs you. Naya. 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 By the way, the voice acting is phenomenal. The crying and the breaking down, that is an appropriate reaction. Okay, the sound is fucked up just a bit. We are getting the possibility to say goodbye. The last time we are feeling the warmth of our bigger brother. We were not always on par, even on days where we hated each other and couldn't stand the sight of one another. Our love was always stronger. The bond of brothers now broken. Now he is even burying him by himself. Oh, that was quite the amount of work. And I think not one single game ever achieved this kind of impact on the gameplay is that the complete left side of my controller is dead. No vibrations, nothing. And that feels so strange since we were controlling both of them at the same time. I mean, what should we tell our father when we are coming back, if he's still alive? I remembered for the first time in the original, I think I even cried, because I didn't see that coming. It was such an, I would say, happy game, yeah, with the music and the people that we met on the way, besides the spider bitch. Farewell, Naya. On to our next adventure, in the next life, and a life after that. Where did you come from? Oh, my lip is quivering. I know, Nahir, you do not want to go, but you have to. Oh, that game is emotionally draining, I tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I lost my cool there for a second. And now we are revisiting all the locations that we have been in. A little retrospective on what has happened in the last, I think, three hours or so. Hey, you two. I'm back. Have a nice life. Okay, that scene is straight out of Harry Potter, or at least influenced by it. That is the exact same weather condition that we had suffered through when our mom died. It's just a minor detail, but we saw that in the cinematic right at the beginning in the intro, where we relive the moment when his mother died. All right, Nahir, it is just a few steps. The light is still burning. We are going to make this. You have come so far. You have learned a lot. You gained so much strength. And that feels so strange, do you see? There's the second latch that we have used at the beginning. Our routine's basically broken, and especially for me as a player, with only one side of the controller vibrating, that definitely does something to a player. Oh shit, and now we have to face our fear of water, and there's no big brother that is able to help us. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's go! Like a champ! It's so strong. Oh, bro. Oh, give me a, guys, give me a minute. <laughs> My voice broke down so much. I'm so emotionally invested in this game. I didn't think that this is happening again, but the first time I was crying and now I'm crying again. <laughs> All right, but we cannot stop here. We cannot stop. Now here, I'm with you. There are tears running down my face, but I'm with you. And now we have to pull the lever all by ourselves. The first time we tried that, we were not strong enough. Come on, you got this. Yes! Let's fucking go! Yes! He's overcoming all the challenges. And we made it. We fucking made it! Now save his father. That son will not be alone! But we are just exhausted. We gave everything and then some. Okay, and this seems to be a few days later. Guys, I need a few seconds here. I don't know which lever has been pulled in my mind here, but I was so into it. I was basically not here at this point and I really felt the loss. I had to fight for my life, not bursting out in tears. And now we are letting little pebbles flip over the water surface. 
Hey, but at least it looks like that we are pretty talented with that. Did we save our father? I mean, it cut to black when we were unconscious. Oh, there he is. At least from a distance, he looks alive and well. He got buried right next to his mom. <laughs> You're gonna make it. It's going to be hard in the next years, but you will find a way to cope with it. And as long as you have good memories about them, you will never, ever die. <laughs> But what a pain this must be for the father. Like losing the mother and another son. And he wasn't even there when they died. Like both times. But at least the griffin is still alive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Brothers, a tale of two sons. Done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can hear, I'm recording this right at the end. Like no pause in between whatsoever. I'm doing this raw and like real. These were the most intense three hours that I've ever experienced in a video game. But for everybody who is really into indie games, story games, very emotional games, or knows people who are into these sort of games, a definite recommendation from my side. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. If you like this video and if you also cried like me then be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and also ring the bell to never miss out on future content here at glancet games and as always stay safe play fair and keep gaming this is glancet games over and out i need some tissues god damn it